I hate searching for the same thing over and over again. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to find an item or an entire group of items and save that selection as a set? Well, you can. Finding multiple items can be performed in multiple ways. The objective of this video is to find a group of items in two ways. One is in the selection tree, and the other is by selecting an item in the model. Then we can save the results as a selection set. To follow along, open up the Navisworks Essential.nwd file. The first thing I want to do is I want to grab every exterior balcony door. It would be a real pain to go through the entire model and try to pick each door. What I'm going to do is zoom in on this door and I'm going to select it. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to select balcony door. Now on my home tab, I'm going to go to my select and search panel and I'm going to go up to select same, hit the drop down and I'm going to select same name. This will select all the balcony doors in my entire project. Now what I'm going to do is save this selection to a selection set. Click Save Selection. For the name of my selection set, I'm going to call it Balcony Doors. And I'm going to hit Enter. As you can see, I can create a new folder. I can search for items on this. And I can save other selections. If we hit Escape, we select Balcony Doors again. We see that those items are selected. We can hide them, we can delete them, we can rename them, we can do whatever we want right here. Now, the next set I want to do are some compound ceilings. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. Now I'm going to go to my selection tree. I'm going to drill into my NWD file. I'm going to drill into architectural. I'm going to go to 101 first floor. I'm going to select ceilings. I'm going to right click and select ceilings. And again, I'm going to select same name. When I go back into my selection tree, we'll see it's going to grab all the ceilings on every one of my floors. I'm going to click on Save Selection. I'm going to call it Ceilings. I'm going to hit Enter. I now have balcony doors and I have ceilings. How do I know that I grabbed them all? Well, we can go through the model also. If I right click on Ceilings, notice that I can't override any of the properties. You need to do that in the selection tree. So in my selection tree, with the ceiling still selected, I can right click, override item. I'm gonna override the transparency. I'm gonna turn it up to about three quarters transparent. And I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna use my walk tool. I'm gonna hit the drop down and make sure collision and gravity are turned off. I'm gonna walk over to any room and enter it. I'm going to pan down. Notice that the ceiling is still blue because it's still selected. Hit escape a couple times. To see the transparency of the ceiling, go to your viewpoint, and for render style, click the mode drop down. Let's go to shaded. Now we can see all the ceilings in our entire model are going to be transparent. We can now look through the ceiling and we can see every item that's above that ceiling. I tell you, having the ability to use these sets is really going to come in handy, especially if we're trying to do a material takeoff or trying to do a timeline construction simulation.